Today, <clears throat> today's date is uh, May 22nd, 2023. This is my um, this is my detonation chamber. This is my air fuel mixture going in, and this is going to be my the ignition for it and um, it's going to connect to um, it's going to connect to the um, to that end of the pump right there um, let me go over and get a better view of that so uh, i i gotta get this place cleaned up i still have to um, um, I still have to get the um, so anyway get this place cleaned up is what I've been trying to say what's going to happen is once this thing is up and running the detonation chamber is going to go on here and then that will drive the pump so uh, my air fuel is coming in here this will be uh, you know, I got to set the timing for how this is going to work. So that's where all the experimentation comes in. So, in the, because I got to, I don't know how much, uh, how energetic the vol this volume is going to be for the fuel. So, um, in any case, this is a completed system, a detonation chamber and, and the pump. So I still need to work on this and I got to work on seeing what would be the best mixture for um, for for the detonation chamber you know uh, if depending on you know hydrogen will definitely detonate but I can get um, acetylene to detonate as well so uh, boy just uh, to get a bottle of hydrogen is turning out to be a uh, big pita they uh, want you to take classes and all that stuff. So uh, this may not move along as quickly as I would like it to. In the interim, I think I already talked about the Tesla turbine. What I have in mind is to use the detonation chamber right here. Hang on. Is to use this chamber for the uh, for the turbine so what I'm going to be doing is having a probably eight of these all tangent exhausting tangent to the uh, wheel so um, I believe the Tesla turbine was designed for a uh, a detonation engine and not a deflagration one so in any case this is a uh, I got a, you know, I'm going to build the housing for this, and then, um, then I'll. Uh, this is, you know, down the road, probably six or eight months before I get the turbine up and running. And I just got myself my new combustion chamber, so uh, I'm gonna. That's a, just the right volume for what I want to do. In uh, besides that, I got to clean this up. I got myself a, uh, I'm going to build a full wave rectifier here, a uh, high amperage. The uh, last remaining thing, I got the detonation chamber built. Um, this is prototype two here. That's going to have a different setup completely, but I want to get the experience working with the timing system and all of that. This is yet another detonation chamber. So in any case, um, my uh, the first prototype, uh, I want to validate that it works. So that's where we're ha at. Uh, my next video will be with the shop clean. Well, that's shooting this uh, all the way out from here. Uh, and that's only with... Um, 80 pounds of uh, pressure. Let's see what it looks like from this way.
Well, that was probably flooring, but um, anyway, I use this to analyze. I've been using CO2 for that uh, pulsing right there because uh, my time here is coming to an end and I need to get the shop cleaned up and put it back in presentable fashion for Pete. So I got to have this all cleaned up and get everything ready so he can get his bikes out of here. And I'll put everything away and we'll pick the ball up after the holiday around the 4th or 5th. So I'll be back. So uh, actually I wanted to end the um, video with a clean shop. So we got everything put away to the, you know, there's a lot of stuff here, but anyway, I've got everything all cleaned up. Everything's working, every machine's up and running. So uh, I, I was able to get my detonation engine uh, all set up. And uh, my, I will be back in the shop after the 4th. So that's it.